Hey guys, so a Russian friend of mine wanted to buy a condom in Japan but she didn't know what to choose because there are so many of them, you know, there are a wide variety of condoms available in Japan. So today, I'm going to navigate you through the sea of Japanese condoms. By the way, I know there are many teenagers watching this, so remember, always, always, always use a condom. It's not just about unwanted pregnancy, it will protect you from various STDs. And if you still think it feels better without condoms, try Japanese ones because they are amazing. There are three major condom manufacturers in Japan, Okamoto, Fuji Latex, and Sagami. I would personally recommend either Okamoto or Sagami because they make very thin non-latex condoms. I tend to have a better experience with Okamoto, so my first pick will be Okamoto 0.02mm. This is the best condom I've ever used. Compared to this one, most condoms are just uncomfortable and desensitizing. If you want to try the world's thinnest condom, you can try Sagami 0.01. It's as thin as one-sixth of a human hair. It's quite impressive, isn't it? Okamoto also started selling 0.01 this month, so you can try that one too. I have tried the Sagami one, but it was a bit short, and also the difference is too subtle to justify the price because they are quite expensive. Now, since I mentioned non-latex condoms, let's discuss different materials. Latex, of course, is the most popular material for condom, but I've never been a big fan of latex condoms because they tend to be quite thick, and they have a very distinct rubber smell, which I don't like, and also they fit too tightly. So, in 1998, Sagami, the Japanese company, came up with polyurethane condoms. Up to the point, the thinnest one was 0.03mm by Okamoto, but the Sagami one was 02 so it was quite revolutionary. And then in 2014, Sagami again, they introduced a yet thinner condom, which was 0.01mm, which was quite impressive. So that's the thinnest one at the moment. There is another important condom material. In 2008, Ansel Limited, an Australian company, released a condom made of polyisoprene, which is synthetic latex. It's said to be softer, more robust, and much less likely to be an allergen. Many people rave about this, but personally, I still prefer thin polyurethane condoms. Well, I guess I'm just spoiled by Japanese condoms. There are still reasons that some people prefer latex or polyisoprene condoms. Statistically, they are slightly more robust, although as long as you use condoms correctly, the difference doesn't seem to be significant. Or, some people actually prefer thicker condoms because, for example, they think the decreased sensations make them last longer. If that's what you want, you can choose those extra thick condoms. And latex condoms are generally cheaper, so if you are incredibly horny but broke, you may choose this one by Fuji Latex. You can get 3 dozen Japanese condoms for less than $10. That's a bargain. By the way, identifying the material is quite easy if you read the description carefully. It says either latex, polyurethane, or polyisoprene. And if it doesn't say anything, it's probably latex. But in Japan, anything 0.02 and below is polyurethane, and anything 0.03 and above is latex, except for skin series, which is polyisoprene. Now, for the gentlemen who are endowed with sizable instruments, regular Japanese condoms might be too tight. They are bigger options. They are the normal large size, and the super large size, which is 37mm across, and the biggest one I was able to find was 46 millimeters. So, where do you buy condoms in Japan? You can buy them anywhere, in the convenience store, pharmacy, Don Quixote, online, and many other places. And if you go to a love hotel in Japan, they are usually free condoms. Don't use them, because they are not the best ones. Bring your own. And if you are buying a Japanese condom, why not buy some Japanese lubricant as well? Because Japan also offers a wide variety of lubricants. And if you don't know what to choose, I would recommend this one because it's cheap, but the quality and quantity is very good. 
By the way, lubricant is called lotion in Japan, so just look for these letters. Alright, I hope this helps and happy sex life, guys! Hey guys, it's Yuta again. Now that you know how to choose a condom in Japan, I think you also want to know how to choose a good ice cream in Japan, so check out this video and otherwise, see you guys later. Ciao ciao!